Hi Scorpio, how are you? It's me Lauren with the Untitled Tarot. Welcome back or welcome in. If it's your first time joining us, welcome. Have a seat, not on my couch, but somewhere. You know, we're gonna sit here for a minute. We're gonna hang out. We've moved up from the basement, which is nice. We're not being basement babies today. And I've done your spread before I clicked record, which is a new, it's a new thing I'm trying out. Um, Scorps, <laughs> we have to talk. Okay, are you okay? I don't, I would like to preface this by saying that I hope, I mean, honestly, I hope that you're not any of the people in this story, but considering that you, your card came out twice in your reading and it's a reading for you. It obviously has something to do with you. I'm hoping this is more like something you're energetically connected to, just like within your force field or you know, you know, and not actually you or you're not like directly involved in this. I hope this is like just some residual stuff going on around you because it's a little bit, honestly, this is probably like the craziest reading I've almost ever done. I can only think of one other reading that I did a couple months ago that was even remotely in the ballpark of this. This is some crazy stuff. So like buckle your seatbelt. All right. So like the first cards that came out for you, Scorpio, were the Hierophant, the Star, and Justice straight in a row. And I was like, you got to be shitting me. Like there's no way. Because I prep all of my decks before, after, door. like my decks are... They are ready to go, right? Three major arcana pop out. Just like this. High font. Star. Oh, I'm using, um, I used the Rider Weight Tarot and I used the Wild Unknown um, Animal Spirit deck to do your reading tonight, by the way. But it literally pops out. Hierophant, Star, and Justice. Just like this. So I was like, holy shit. Like, what the hell is going on here? So I'm looking at it and I'm like, all right, so... You know, tradition, traditional spiritual infrastructures, you know, I'm like, wishes, you know, like, wish upon a star, that's Aquarian energy, justice, that's Libra energy, you know, like, I'm looking at, like, spirit manifestation, like, wishes, and I'm looking at karma, and I was like, holy shit, and then all of a sudden I heard, hear ye, hear ye, and I was like, we in core, bitch, like, what is going on right now, I heard, hear ye, hear ye, hear ye, hear ye, and I looked at these cards and I was like, are these supposed to be like about something? Like, what is the wit? What is it? And then I heard that and then I realized, oh no. The course of me doing this whole spread for you is me just going, oh no, like a thousand times. I realized this is the jury. I don't know, like with the here, here, I don't know if you guys are actually in some kind of like legal case but it has like a very judicial feel. So whether this is purely just like karma, energy, spirit, or whether this is very like tangible, we're in a court case kind of thing, this is the jury. This is the jury. This is source, your creator, whatever you like to call it for yourself, Untitled Tarot, we don't put each other in boxes here. The star, I'm seeing this as like your higher self. And then justice. Justice is like the unwielding just force of karma in the universe. So you got God, your higher self, and big daddy karma here. And they're playing the jury. And the next card that came out, as I throw everything everywhere, is the sun on its side. You got five, I'm lying, because that's not good math. You got four major arcana out as your first four cards. I've never seen that happen. Like that is insane, Scorpio. Like that is actually kind of crazy. And so I was like, this is the, this is like the judge, the jury. I was like, and this is like the outcome, right? It's the sun, victory, success, positivity. It's the happiest card in the deck and it's on its side because it hasn't been settled yet, right? This is like a, this is a case, whether it's spiritual or in real life. This is a case that is like in adjudication right now. Like I'm hearing like literally like gavels in that my head, like so loud. And so I'm looking at, I'm looking at the judge and the jury. I'm looking at like the possible outcome of the case and I'm looking at it. And I'm going, what is the crime? 
Like, what is the crime? And like I said, Scorpio, this could, like, maybe you have committed some offense and those whole things about you getting your comeuppance. Um, this could be something that's happening to you. This could just be something you're witnessing or just, like, feeling or sensing energetically. But I asked what the crime was. And I got out. I was like, for all this hoopla, you know, we're getting fucking Jesus and we're getting karma and we're getting everybody else involved, your higher self. Like, what the, you know, like, what, what's the crime? What is the crime? I got the fool in reverse, king of wands, two of pentacles in reverse, and the four of swords. So I'm looking at these cards. I'm like, all right, king of wands, it's a court card. That's a character card. All right. So what did the king of wands do? I was like, he didn't go for it. He didn't go for something. I was like, but two of pentacles in reverse. Like that's coming out of indecision. That's making a decision. Four of swords. That's like taking a time out. I'm looking at these cards. I'm looking at these cards. I don't know. Maybe I should turn them this way for you. Maybe I should turn them this way for you. And it's like, I'm looking at these cards and I'm looking at these cards. And all of a sudden, it just like hit me for some reason. Like I see the blue up here and then the yellow down here. And I got this image of this king kicking this fool off a cliff. Weird, I know. But I have this vision of this king kicking this fool off of the cliff. And I'm hearing... Fool's gold, fool's gold, sacrificial lamb. Sa is that what, what is that? Oh, that's a dog. I thought that was a lamb for a second. I was like, there's no way. Sacrificial lamb, sacrificial lamb. And I asked him, I'm like, what is the crime? I'm like, this king cake this fool, sacrifice this fool? Like a fool is like a very useful like energy, like very, a little bit naive. It could be a little foolish, sure. Like, but like a go-getter, like go with God. Like I'm going for it, baby. It's a sat and a lamb. A lamb is, you know, usually like a very like young, youthful, like baby lamb chop. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, so this king, the crime is that this king sacrificed this fool. It's like, for what? Like, why? And I'm looking at this two of pentacles. I hear a decision is made. A decision is made. And I'm looking at this four of swords. I'm like, so it's, a, they're, so they're just resting? Are they resting after kicking this fool off of the cliff, like sacrificing them, like throwing them under the bus for something. Like, I don't know if this is you, Scorpio. I hope not. I hope that the Scorpios that watch me aren't doing nasty stuff like that. But if you are, we're, we're going to work on it, right? And I really hope you're not this fool that somebody just kicked off a cliff. That would be terrible too. I don't want anybody doing that to my little baby Scorpios. But I'm looking at this. It's like a decision is made to kick this fool off the cliff. I'm like, are you resting out of it? And then I look at the card and I realize that Normally it doesn't come off so like coffin-y. I know it's like a Scorpio reading, but normally it doesn't come off so like coffin-y to me. But it looks like very more coffin-y to me. And I just hear kill shot. Kill shot. So a decision was made. This is a very general reading. So like this could have transpired in like a variety of different ways for you. Or just like I said, hopefully this is just something that is transpiring or like in your around you and not directly to you that you're involved in. Okay, this shit sucks. But a decision was made to sacrifice, throw into the bus, get rid of, kick this fool, a very youthful energy, maybe a little naive, but hopeful energy off a cliff. And it was done strategically because it's like, if this King of Wands is in reverse, it would tell me that maybe it was like a hot headed decision in the moment, not thinking clearly. But the fact that he's upright and the King of Wands is like a planner. The King of Wands is a doer. That this was like a, this was premeditated. This was like a premeditated hit. Like a decision was made and a bed had to be laid in. And it was intended to be a kill shot. Not only does it feel like as though it's a strategic move for the king, like in the sense of him trying to acquire something or, or get somewhere or just like throw someone under the bus, like to, to some self-serving reason. Oh, my nose is itching. Yeah, it might be that. It might be like a self-serving reason. But it was also like, it was a two, it was like a double-edged sword because not only was it intended to do that, but it was also intended to be a kill shot, to knock this fool off the cliff and put him down. And then I moved, oh yeah. Trying to put you down, Scorpio, or unless you were trying to do this to someone else. I hope not. If you're trying to do this to other people, Scorpio, go to another channel. I don't, I don't need that kind of bad juju flying around here. Mm -mm, nothing but the blood of Jesus in this house, you hear me? I'm just kidding sort of 
but that <laughs> I went into I went into the wild and on spirit or oracle deck because I wanted to know more about this crime I'm like Nancy Drew now I'm invested we in this right and normally I never take reversals in that deck but for some reason I got all these reversals for you and I was like I'm taking them I was like they feel right the first thing that came out was the beaver in reverse the beaver upright this is a very loyal energy a faithful energy a family oriented a family oriented energy and this is a very 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 hard working energy in reverse this is lazy disloyal uncommitted unfocused self-serving energy very much like this king of wands energy that i'm feeling after this whole issue with the fool has transpired and then the gazelle in reverse this is paranoid hyper alert skittish i would be paranoid and hyper alert too if i push somebody off a cliff by being disloyal by being it's like not like a lazy energy because it almost feels like there's a lot of work and there does feel like like some kind of like accomplice energy in like the the kicking you or kicking the fool off of the cliff but it's, so it's not like laziness it's just like sneakiness that's, that's what i feel i feel like a very sneaky energy and then next up you have the butterfly they have the butterfly in reverse so it's like i'm asking about like what this crime is and this this king had a premeditated attack made a decision to knock this fool like off their off their glory off their high horse and it was intended to be a kill shot because this king is sneaky paranoid doesn't want to work hard, uncommitted, unfaithful, and unwilling to grow and change and transform. Right? I'm like, and it, this card fell out directly underneath the two of pentacles. And I'm drawn very much to like the two wings. Right? And then the next card that comes out, get this. Bada boom, baby. Right? Fell out right underneath this four of swords. Kill shot. That's when I started to get nervous because I was like, but do you know what? This, this might be what happened to you, Scorpio. You might be the fool. Because at first I was like, I hope this isn't like my Scorpio like doing all this. But now that I'm re-looking at it, like you coming out underneath directly under that four of swords, I think that you might have been the one that got pushed, Scorpio. And if you were, I'm really sorry for that. But don't worry. Your, your case is up at court, babe. Don't stress. So next out after the scorpion card. Well, okay. Let's backtrack for a second. So now that I knew the crime, I asked, well, what happens now? Like, what happens now? So got the judge. We know what the possibilities could be. Like, we know what the crime is. Like, well, now what happens? And I got the six of swords in reverse. And I heard, not going to get away with it. That's what's going to happen about this crime. Is whoever did this, whoever this king of wands is, is not going to get away with this. There is no retreat. There is no surrender. There is no sneaking out the back door. You can't. You got the higher fin. You got the justice. You got the star. They have everybody. They got the whole universe watching their ass. You're not sneaking out of this one. You didn't get away with anything. Ah, oh, my poor Scorpios. And then I got the three wands out. And I got the Knight of Cups in reverse out. I heard like, not going to get away with it. Nowhere to run. No one to turn to. 13.55 when I said that. Karma's coming in. If this happened to you, my Scorpios, you're... Your justice is coming in for you. If you were the perpetrator, then karma's coming in for you. But now, interestingly enough, we have a third character on the board, folks. I just saw something. Anyway, okay. <laughs> this house gets so weird sometimes, I'm sorry. We got a third character on the board, folks. Oh my nose, oh my God. Page of Wands. Another young youthful energy, right? Pages bring messages. I wands passionate. So same suit as you. 
or whoever this king is, same suit, right? Immediately followed up by the death card. So what's gonna happen about this crime? There's nowhere to go. I'm not gonna get away with it. Nowhere to hide. No one to turn to. And then all of a sudden this, this page shows up. This friendly little page, right? Pages are super friendly, talkative. They're like children. They're like, ah. Followed up by this death. And then I heard messenger of death. And I don't want to freak anyone out because I don't think like anyone's gonna die. I don't think it's like that. It's very much of like, um, I heard like wolf in sheep's clothing and I heard like friendly fire, friendly fire. Cause I'm looking at these cards and it almost looks like this page is like dressed up as a page when really it's like the, the deadly horseman. You know what I mean? It's very interesting. So I was like, is this page, is this page like the messenger that like, is this page the one that's going to be delivering karma? Like this, this final kill shot? Cause what happens karmically when you push somebody off a cliff? The universe is going to push you off a mountain. That's just energetically how it works. Whatever you put out, you get back. Whether it's a nice thought in your head or it's a nasty thing you say, it doesn't matter. It's all equal in the eyes of God. It all comes back to you. So it's like friendly fire, friendly fire. And I'm looking at this priest here and he looks like the friggin' Hierophant. And it almost looks like he's like paying like this death horseman, like his dues as he's standing over like the King of Wands, like body. Whoops. It's like very interesting. It is very interesting. And I'm looking at this page, I'm like, so wait, so is this page, this page is like, it's friendly fire. It looks like it's like a super innocent like message or beginning or, but it's actually bringing in this news of like, finish him, you know, like Mortal Kombat. And then I looked at his robes. I looked at his robes and I go, holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, I can't pick up this card. And I'm looking at the King of Wardrobe. Look at the sash that he's wearing on his robe. Look at the pattern. Look at the page. They're in the same suit. And I was like, holy shit. That's the karma. I don't know who this King of Wands is. I hope it's not you. I hope that you're not the fool. Honestly, it's kind of shitty. I hope you're this page of wands, Scorpio, because it's the best position to be in. Honestly, the best position to be in in this situation is like 10 feet. It's like a thousand, it's like two blocks down the road. I wouldn't touch this situation with a 10 foot pole. This doing this reading is as close as this situation as I would like to get to. But if you had to be any character in this, I'd want to be the page of wands. I'd want to be like the, the ghost of Christmas passed over here. Whoever this king is, they're going to get played. This could also be feminine energy. Like we all like operate in masculine and feminine energy. So if you're a female, but you're in a little bit more of like a, like, a dominant or or a controlling or really just trying to like push things through kind of energy then like you would be occupying your masculine energy so like you could come through as a king of wands as opposed to a queen of wands or something else so i don't want anybody to get hooked up on genders but this person because it seems like you were close enough to this fool to get them to come close enough to you to like kick them off this cliff and that's exactly what the friendly fire is that's exactly what's going to happen to king of wands. look it's almost like they're face to face it's of the same suit friendly fire is what just like this was just like this was friendly fire intended to be a kill shot friendly fire from the same suit friend or foe intended to be a kill shot chariot in reverse you're not going nowhere king of wands mrs mrs king of wands whoever you are wherever you are and i remember how i said like it looked as though it's the hierophant trying to pay like this um this like angel of death for like the service of like putting you down basically it's the higher font this is like god that's the universe we're talking justice this is straight up karma baby like you there's no higher authority than that you know and i was like what are they paying them with what are they paying them with and it literally i'm looking at this charity in reverse and it literally looks like that's your chariot and i thought to myself or, or the king of wands chariot i'm like well every king or queen has to have a chariot right how else did they get there? Like, they started with their pace. They went along their thing. They started collecting, you know, whatever. And sooner or later, they hit a chariot. And they got to boom their way up to be the king or the queen. So it's literally, like, the Hierophant is taking, like, completely stopped whoever this king of wands was. Knocked over their chariot with this page of wands as this kind of messenger, this friendly fire of death. And then the Hierophant is, like, basically collecting the spoils of, of the king of wands to pay the angel of death for the, the, the service of putting him down. 
I don't know if that makes any sense. It's almost like if you were, say you were married, hypothetically, say you were married and your wife hired, put a hit out on you, right? Right? And then you die. That sucks. And then she used the your life insurance money to pay the hitman. That's what it feels like. It's like you basically paid to like off yourself, like put a hit out on yourself. And then I'm looking at this and I'm like, what, what is that? Like, what, what it, why is that in my head? Why did you put that in my head? And I heard like dirty deeds, dirty deeds. So literally whatever this page is doing to this king of wands is setting it up. So that way all of this king's dirty laundry, skeletons, whatever it is, comes tumbling out of their chariot. And that is what is going to be used as the kill shot. That's why it's a friendly fire. They're not going to kick you off the cliff. They're going to hang you with your own rope and source is going to help them do it. Well, not you. I'm hoping it's like, I'm hoping you guys are getting this justice. Hopefully you guys are coming in to give somebody like a what for. That'd be better for me, for you guys. If you guys are on the shit end of the stick, then I'm sorry, but we'll get through it. We can always do better next time, right? We pay our karmic debt. We keep it moving. It's all right. And then I just wanted to pull a couple more cards from the animal deck for you guys because I was like oh, I feel like I'm in like a telenovela right now this shit is crazy and I pulled I was like well is there anything else you want them to know you know and I got the shark card upright and I heard we're always watching I heard when you're watching when you think that you're watching them we are watching you because that's true y'all source don't sleep spirit does not take naps and this is like these are sharks this is one of the most the oldest, most ancient creatures on the entire planet goes deep, deep in the depths. They're always watching and sat and circling, right? Karma, karmic circles, right? Always watching. And then you got out the buffalo in reverse. I really feel like this is not you guys because I'm not feeling like a ton of your energy in here. I feel like you're either this page or I've honestly, I, it's, I feel really bad, but I feel like you guys are this fool. Because I don't feel like a lot of your energy in here. It feels like this is all like stuff that you're kind of witnessing. But you get this buffalo card. This is like a very kind of um, divine energy card for me. This is um, almost like a little bit of like a tower moment card. It's a little bit of like a rumbling. Like it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Like that static electricity. In reverse, all I heard was it's here. We're, we're watching and it's here. Like karma's being delivered. And then you got out the, the elephant in reverse. The elephant's about like divine detours, right? Source, moving things in and out of the way in order to help light and guide this path. In reverse, I heard no protection. I don't mean in the sense that like source, whoever this king of wands is, the source doesn't like love them and like want good things for them because like source is nothing but infinite love. But we all pay our debts to the universe, good or bad. And when they're bad, that, that, makes, that makes God sad for us. You know, but it's, it's like down here, you know what I mean? It's like not going to get away with it. Nowhere to go. No one to call Like No lifelines, no lifelines. Like that's it. Death card. You came up twice in here. So I feel as though that this justice is on your behalf because you were showing up twice here. Both times upright tells me that this is supposed to be your justice that you're getting. It's like, we're watching your karma's here. King of wands. We're not going to save you from yourself. And then this tiger energy, like what do tigers do? Look at this moon, cycles, right? These cycles of karma that we have to complete. And when you look at these cards, you can see it's like um, the, the shark and the tiger are both upright and they're kind of coming in. They're coming in to kind of serve this karma. And then these flew out just randomly. Well, nothing's random, but horse upside down it's like this you know the horse card represents like freedom it's like no there's no freedom here like you're not again it's a six of this is the same thing as a six of swords universe it's like you're not getting away with that you're not running away from your karma you can't outrun fate you can't but for the king of wands with this camel spirit it's also saying that after this all goes down for the king of wands probably honestly for the fool and for the page and for everyone like take a little time out kind of refill your reserves right like back to basics camels they live in the desert there's not like a whole lot going on but they have they survive because they're able to maintain their reserves 
So that's what it's saying is after the dust has settled from this entire situation and the karmic scales have been balanced and the dust has settled to really like everybody just take a time out back to basics, clear out the clutter, clutter a little bit and kind of refill everybody refill their tanks here because this is something that's taken like a lot out of everyone, you know, and if anyone was curious from the bottom of your deck, so the rider weight, it was the um, the four of cups, the four of cups upright. I think this is saying like maybe the, the king of wands after is like maybe licking his wounds a little bit, like not really wanting to like work on himself or themselves or herself or, you know what I mean? Just being like a little bit stubborn, like kind of being a little bit of a sore loser, right? Like a little sore about the karma we receive. But with the otter spirit as the overall bottom of the deck energy from the animal spirit deck it is saying that like with this source is saying like we we still love you we still love you like we know that you kicked a fool off a cliff and like that's super fucked up and like you're gonna have to pay for that but like we still love you and we're still here for you and we're still like we still want to be friends like let's work together right like let's work on it yeah so i hope that you guys enjoyed this message it was a lot for everyone involved Probably not mostly me, but it took a lot out of me. <laughs> so I'm like going to take a nap or something. It's a lot. I was going to do Sagittarius next. I don't know if I have it in me. <laughs> Freaking, oh my God. But this was fun. This was this was a wild ride. So thank you guys. What, what an afternoon delight, truly. But I hope that you guys are okay. If you need anything, you, you let me know how this plays out, all right? All of my information should be in the description box. If you want to comment or talk to me, you can do so um, in the little comment boxes below. You can subscribe or just come back or not. Just don't, just be nice to me. Okay, bye. <laughs>